In this video, we look at the working plane and how this can be used as a reference for creating and modifying objects. Let's get started. When we created the lines in the previous snapping example, these were listed in the tree view. If we select the first, then press shift and select the last one, we can press delete and remove them. Now we can look at snap working plane and how it relates to the working plane in FreeCAD. The working plane is a reference plane used when creating and modifying objects. You can define the orientation an object will be created in relation to the 3D scene. We can click the current working plane button here and open up the properties. The working plane can be aligned to faces, vertices, or you can choose a preset plane from one of the following. Top will align the working plane to the XY plane of the coordinate system. Then front, side, align to view or automatic. Automatic will use your current view and align the working plane there. Then use the offset field to set a distance for the working plane. You can select an individual vertex in 3D space and then move the working plane to that position. The grid properties can be adjusted below by changing the spacing, amount, extension and snapping radius. Let's look at an example, so close this for a moment. We can come into a top view first. Then let's use the arc wall command here. Place the first point. Press shift to straighten the line and drag across and place the second point. This gets drawn very large, so let's come to the data tab. Let's update the height to be 10, the length to be 10, and the width to be 10. In FreeCAD, you need to click away for the changes to update. So now we have something we can see a bit clearer. If we wanted to add an object or draw on this face, we can first define this face and align the working plane. So select the face and click the working plane button. This updates to custom and the grid snaps to this face. Then anything we add will be aligned to this face. Let's click away and deselect the face. Open the working plane again. This time we'll use the side option here. We can now look at the snap working plane example. This will snap whatever we draw to the same plane as the working plane. Let's disable this first. Enable the endpoint snap. Also, let's come into a right view and align the working plane. Now select the line tool and hover on a corner, then snap here. Sometimes you may not see the line, but it will have the first point. Drag across the diagonal and snap to this side. If we rotate around, the line has snapped as expected and aligned with the face of the wall. Let's come back to a side view. This time, let's enable Snap Working Plane. Now select the Line tool and draw a line across diagonally from two opposite corners. This time, if we take a look, the line has snapped to the Working Plane. Working Plane Snap will snap whatever you are drawing to the Working Plane. For the snapping settings, I usually leave End and Midpoint enabled and enable Additional when the need arises.